When I first started working on Cassini, my daughter Jennifer had just started kindergarten, and now she's married with a daughter of her own. I've worked on the Cassini project for almost 30 years, and that's an entire Saturn orbit. Part of Cassini's success is really the tremendous international collaboration. We had three space agencies contributing to this. NASA from the United States, ESA, the European Space Agency, and Aerospatiale Italian, the Italian Space Agency, all contributing hardware to this mission. The beauty of Cassini is the design. It's the largest outer planetary spacecraft ever built. Twelve different instruments brought from all over the United States and Europe. The Huygens probe, built by the European Space Agency, when you put all of that together, it's just a monumental machine. Three, two, one, and liftoff of the Cassini spacecraft on a 30-mile trek to Saturn. We turned the Cassini cameras down to look at the rings, revealing them in a way we had never seen them before. I remember coming back to JPL early in the morning just so I could be there and watch those pictures one by one come down. And I felt I could almost reach out and touch the rings that were right there. basically tried to carry in our toolbox everything you could think of to explore the Saturn system. We had been collaborating with the Europeans ever since launch to make sure that we had everything right for Huygens. The Huygens probe was dropped onto Titan. These are images from a billion miles away on the surface of Titan. It's just exhilarating. They're boulders, they're pebbles. We're in a dry lake bed. And I still get goosebumps couple just talking about it. After everybody started getting their science, the beauty of what I saw in Cassini was they started collaborating with each other and saying, I have a picture of this part of Titan. What does your picture look like, you know? Looking back at what we were planning to do in those first four years, we've gone so far beyond that. We basically explored the whole solar system contained within the Saturnian system. We remapped our investigations to concentrate on the questions that Cassini raised. The fact that there is interplanetary dust raining in on Saturn and that collection of icy satellites and moons the fact we found subsurface oceans on Enceladus, which surprised everyone. Two of our instruments actually sampled the plume of Enceladus as we flew through, tasting the gas, measuring the particles in a way that we hadn't planned. Cassini has changed the paradigm of where we might look for life. That will be one of her legacies. 13 years of exploring Saturn. It really is just a it's an awesome mission. Slowly, people started to gather around these images, which no one had seen. Close-up images flying right over the tops of the rings. And they were just uh, goosebumps. I've, it's a memory I will never forget.
Cassini has changed the paradigm of where we might look for life. You could be a world around a giant planet and have conditions that are right for life. It's just a monumental machine. It's the individual people that all put their pride in putting, in putting this together and building it right. And then, in Cassini's final orbit, plunging into Saturn, measuring the composition of Saturn's atmosphere, sending back science till the very last second. We'll continue to learn from Cassini long after the end of the mission. This is ACS-1. We just had transition to high rate mode, and uh, we are in the atmosphere. We have lots of signal that's actually been this year event. Project manager, flight director. Go ahead. Okay, we call loss of signal at 115546. Project manager on FSO cord. Maybe a trickle of telemetry left, but just heard the signal from the spacecraft is gone and within the next 45 seconds so will be the spacecraft. Uh, I hope you're all as deeply proud of this amazing accomplishment. Congratulations to you all. This has been an incredible mission, an incredible spacecraft, and you're all an incredible team. I'm going to call this the end of mission. Project manager, off the net.